Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. This tutorial is going to be covering spreadsheet manipulation within Python. I believe at least in Excel you can do uh, pretty big commands and I think there's a few other like spreadsheet applications that you can purchase and I don't know anything about like Macs and all that. But I know I don't have Excel and the Google Docs spreadsheet doesn't really give you the opportunity to apply the a bulk amount. Like let's say you want to apply a, um, a formula to a hundred thousand rows there's no way to do that immediately at least not that I know of if you do know a way great also the other downside is you can't really apply uh, really tricky formulas and if you can it's like you add 15 layers at least to that trickiness right to do it within a spreadsheet it's just like really confusing with the whole columns and rows and the numbers and then the symbols and it's just a huge mess so if you can learn to do the manipulation within Python it just makes things a lot easier so, um, so that's what we're gonna be doing in this video as long as you already have Python great if you don't already have Python then you need to bop over to python.org and download Python one sec I'll bring it over so this is python.org all you do is go to download and download Python 2.7 um, and get either 64-bit or 32-bit depending on your system. So once you have that, the next thing that we're going to need is actually NumPy. I imagine a lot of my viewers already have NumPy, but if you don't, then you're going to go over to Google here. And, uh, oh, Google's falling apart again. What the? This is why we can't have nice things, guys. Anyway, we're going to search um, NumPy Python 2.7 here. Search that, and oh my goodness. So probably the best thing to do would get to the uh, PyPy package index and download and install for Python 2.7. Now, if you're operating on a 64-bit version of Python, then this will not, well, uh, no, it's not going to work out for you very well. So the next thing you're going to want to do if you're on 64-bit Python, which you should be, so if you ever want to edit files larger than 2 gigabytes, you can. The other option is to go to this website over here, and let me put the thing down. I'll try to remember to put this link in the description, but here's a bunch of binaries for Python, and you can download 64-bit uh, binaries, so we can go um, NumPy here, and a lot of these packages require NumPy, so that's why we're finding a bunch of it, but eventually we get to NumPy, and this will be where you want to download if you have a 64-bit, you'll download this one right here, and that'll make it real easy to get NumPy. So once you've done that, um, you'll want to make sure that you've done it, so go over to your start bar, bring up the Python command line, looks something like this, and if you don't know what bit version of Python you have, you can kind of scroll over and see uh, right here, it'll tell you, and I have 64-bit, and make sure you can do the following, import, oops, oh my goodness, can't type, import NumPy like that, and as long as you don't have any errors, you're free to continue. If you do have errors and you can't figure it out, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. With that, let's go ahead and get right to it. So I've got a blank uh, Python window here. If you don't know how to get there, go to your start bar, type in IDLE, and what will pop up is something pretty similar to what we were just looking at, actually. It looks like this. Then you can go to File, New Window, opens up this little untitled window, then you can save it. Make sure when you hit Save, uh, you save it as whatever the file type is, plus PY. So let me, uh, well, let me bring it over, and I'll hit Save As. And you'll see here, there's a bunch of files here. Um, you know, first of all, pick whatever directory you're gonna be working in, but when you save the file name, you'll just do file name, and don't forget to do .py, otherwise it'll save it as like a regular file, and it's really annoying. So once you've done that, uh, you should have, you know, a window like this, I'm calling mine CSV manip. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do is go ahead and import NumPy as MP, just so we can shorthand uh, NumPy when we need it. Next, we're gonna define our main. And within here, I always like to put everything in try and accept loops. Uh, that makes it uh, easier when the program fails. So I'm going to put try and then accept, exception with a capital E, and then we're going to call that an E, and then we'll just print string uh, E. Now in our try loop, this is where we're going to actually start using NumPy. So the file that I've got here uh, is going to be tootsheet.csv. So it's just kind of a sample file here. And in fact, um, I'm going to do you all a solid and give you guys this exact sheet. One sec. So if you want to follow on exactly with the tutorial, go to syntax.com, 
slash and tut sheet dot csv hit enter and then i'll download the same sheet that i'm working with so you can work alongside with exactly the same stuff that we're using you don't have to but you don't have to but it will um it could make it easier if you're confused so with that this is the file as you can see we've got date here we've got this little arbitrary name here we're saying gbp usd and we've got an arbitrary number here and as we can see, it really is separated by a comma. Spreadsheets don't have to be literally CSV, which stands for Comma Separated Variable, but they can, and this one is going to be. So uh, what we're going to do now is with NumPy, NumPy has a built-in functionality called load text. It's also got something like gen text or something like that that you can use. It just, it really doesn't matter. So the next thing that we're going to do is uh, define the variables here. And as you can see, we've got uh, like date, uh, this is a 4x rate or ratio, so it's, we'll just say date here, rate, and then we'll call this arbitrary number or something. So what we do is you define the variables, so date, rate, and then arb for arbitrary number. And this, these three variables will equal np for that numpy that we shorthanded, uh, dot load text, so load txt, and the file path. If the file's in the same directory uh, as the script, then you can just do what I'm doing here and just type it in. So touch sheet.csv. And uh, the next thing we can specify is the delimiter. So uh, I'll just come down, I guess, here and say delimiter equals. And our delimiter is a comma in this case. It can be anything you want. This You just specify it here. And uh, unpack needs to be true uh, so we can do this right here so we can specify like multiple variables and then finally d type is going to need to be a string and that is because date is a string variable and so is the label even so we need that to be that way now uh, the next thing that we're going to do here in the last part of this video anyways is just show you guys um, how this works if you're not comfortable with this like multiple uh, variable kind of thing but if like say we want the like right here this is each column right this is the date column so everything like in date it'll print out all of the dates in that column or column so if we just call date or let's just print date like this we'll save that and let's run that and we haven't called main yet so we'll just type out main to call it and this gives us an array of all of our dates subsequently the next thing you could do is you could do like date you get like the uh Five. It's not the fifth element. It's actually the sixth element. Everything starts at zero, just in case you didn't know. Date and then rate five and arb five. We'll run this again. And if you don't know how to run anything, I guess I didn't say anything, but there is a run button here, or you can hit F five. And again, we'll call main. And now we can see the sixth row, uh, the date, GBP USD, and the numbers. And obviously they're not comma separated. You could kind of like superimpose some in there, but you don't need to. So those are just the basics of like loading it, getting NumPy if you don't have it, and Python if you don't have it, and uh, how this works. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually begin manipulation. Now, if all you really wanted to do is, say, uh, get rid of uh, a column, you could just basically leave it out and then make a for loop, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. But if you could do this, where it just prints the date and the arbitrary number, right? And so you've already taken it out, so you can get remove columns pretty easily. Now, you can remove columns really easily in like Google Docs and most spreadsheets as well. So I imagine the application of formulas to rows and making like a new column is what most people are interested in. So we will be getting to that, um, but in the next video. So as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.